Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a snowflake charm. And I'll show you what it looks like. This one I used light blue and white. And I also found some really cute snowflake buttons. I'll show you the package. They're made by Dress It Up, and there's all different shapes. And I think it looks really cute if you take one of these and attach it to the center so you can have a snowflake in the middle. Um, I bought those at AC Moore, but if you don't have a craft store near you, I think without the button it's really cute as well. So in today's video I'll be using navy blue and white for the colors and I'm going to be showing it on the rainbow loom. But you can also make it on the monster tail. You would just use six pins in the shape of a rectangle. So on the rainbow loom, you want to have the pin set up in a rectangular shape so they're in line with one another. And the same thing as the monster tail, we're going to be working with six pins in the shape of a rectangle. And as far as your band count, you're going to need 24 of the blue bands and 32 white. The first thing that I'm going to do is take a blue rubber band and quadruple it. So I'm just going to do this on my hook. I'm putting it on, twist, put it back on, twist, put it back on, and then one more time. So you'll see four rubber bands on there. I'm taking a white band, getting it on my hook, and I'm just going to slide these blue bands onto the white, get it to go in the center. And now you can pretty much work anywhere on your loom as long as you have the six pins in the rectangle shape. And I want these bands to go from the left to the right. It's going to be in the center of that rectangle. And now what I'm going to do is take the white band and stretch it over all three pins on each side. So I want the bottom of it to come down and I want the top of it to go up. Then the same thing on this side. The bottom comes down and the top goes up. So it's definitely going to be a very tight stretch. And now I need a white band to go from the left side to the right. I'm going to do that for the bottom and then also for the top. And now I want the bottom band to come off. Just make sure it doesn't come off of your pin. Mine wants to pop off here going to push this down and now I'm going to do a layer of blue so again it's going to be at the bottom and then the top now I'm going to remove the bottom layer of white from all four of these corner pins and push down. And now what I want to happen is I want these bands that are on the end to also go over the center pins. So starting at the bottom here I'm just going to take the top part of the band and stretch it over the center. Do that for both sides so it'll make a square. And then for the top the inside band is going to come down to make another square. And now I'm going to place three rubber bands going straight across and I'm going to do white for the outside and blue for the middle. So you can really play around with the colors and see what you'd like to do. There's a lot of different patterns you can do but for this one I'm going to keep it the same as the one I showed you first. So for that I did the alternating. Now we want the bottom squares to come off and it's important that you take off the top first because that is the last one we put on so it's above the other one. So that one has to come off first. You can try to take the bottom one off first but it's not going to work. It's going to get all tangled up. And now the bottom can come off and push down. So that's going to be one arm of the snowflake and we need to make six 
But first I'm going to take this off of the loom. So I want the right side to move over to the left. And now if you have two hooks, what I would suggest is use your second hook that you're not working with to pick all of these bands up and get it on that so you can use that as a holding hook. Since we're going to have to do this six times, it's going to get very full. But I know not everybody has two hooks, so I'll just show it with one. So I'm going to go through the top, pick up the two bands, and then I'm going to use my thumb to hold this on. I'll pick up the next two bands and hold those on and then finally pick up the last two. I'm going to take this and pull it from the end, straighten it out there, and now I'm just going to slide this up on my hook. I want it to get pretty far out of the way. I'm only going to do three and then I will have to get these off because six is just too many to get on. If you had a hook that was straight skinnier the whole time you could probably do it but with the rainbow loom hook it just gets too fat I feel to try and force them up so now I'm going to repeat this again I'll show you it one more time and then I'll fast forward I'm taking a blue band and quadrupling it now taking a white band I'm going to slide this on and I'm putting them straight across from the left to the right. And now I need to stretch this out. So it's going to the pin below and also the pin above. Doing that for each of the sides. And now I want a white band, the top and bottom. And now the bottom can come off. And push down. Now I'm doing a blue layer, the bottom and the top. And now the bottom layer can come off of the four pins. And push down. And now we want these end bands to go over all four pins. So starting at the bottom here, I'm just going to stretch this up, make that square, and that the top's going to come down. And now I can put my three bands on. I'm still doing that same pattern. I'm doing white and then blue in the middle and then white at the top. I want this bottom layer to come off. I'm taking the top square first and now the bottom. Push this all down. Now I want the bands on the right to move over to the left to get ready to take it off. And now starting at the top here, I'm just using my hook and going down through, hold it in place, get the next set, and hold those and get the last set. And I'm going to push this down, or pull it down I should say. So now we have two of the arms on. I'm going to do one more and then I'll show you what to do. So I'll just fast forward through this next one.
Now I have three arms of the snowflake on my hook and I want to get them off of there so I can keep going with the rest of the arms. So I'm going to take a white band and I'm going to take a clip. I have an S clip here. I'm going to hook it through the white band and this is just going to prevent the arms of the snowflake from sliding off the other end as I'm pulling them through. So I'm just going to grab this other end here and I'm going to very carefully get these arms to slide on. So it can be a little bit tricky because sometimes your hook wants to get caught up in the other bands. I would suggest having the hook part facing downward and also pull slightly down on these as you're going through here and just try to do one section at a time and now get the next arm here and just slowly get it to come through and now one more here and now what I'm going to do is take the part that's on my hook and just clip it through the other end of the clip here to keep it from coming apart so that's halfway done so now I'm just going to repeat these same exact steps again I'll start over and if you feel like you need to follow along you can always go back to the beginning of the tutorial now I've done the other three arms of the snowflake and I have them all on my hook so I'm going to take the first section that I did and I'm going to get the one end that's in the clip back on my hook and now I can unhook it but I'm still going to leave the other end attached now this is going to prevent this from coming off the other end but you can see that it's not impossible for it to come off so you just want to be aware of the other end here and now I'm going to slide the next arm on Again, just take your time in doing it. And now here's the fifth arm. And then I have one more. Now don't lose this off your hook can grab the other end here where the clip is and I'm going to slide my hook through so now I'll have both ends of it on my hook I can remove this clip and now I'm going to take my last white band it's going to go through both of these ends here and then come back on. I'm taking one end and sliding it through the other, pulling that nice and tight to make a nice tight slip knot. And then here is my snowflake. So it's going to need some adjustment. You want to just take the very edges and pull it from the tip there. And then you are going to have this loop that's sticking out. If you want, you can leave it there to hang it somewhere. Or if you want, you can tuck it in. So I'm going to tuck it in. What I'm going to do is just reach through where the star connects to the middle. And just take that loop and slide it through. And then I'll just keep going around to the next one over here reach through and pull it through to the other side and I'll probably have to go through about three arms here and then you'll have your snowflake and if you wanted to you could add a charm or a button like I showed you at the beginning here's the snowflake one that I had and you just want to take a band and get it to go through here. 
You can use a needle threader or a twisty tie. I actually have a video showing you how to do a twisty tie. And then you would want to take your hook and go in from the back of the snowflake. Grab hold of both of these rubber bands and pull it through to the back. And then you would need to take a couple of additional bands. So I have a white band here and I'm just going to take my hook and loop through a couple of the snowflake bands on the back and I'm going to take this loop and pull it through and now I'm just going to carefully take my hook out of this loop and I'm just going to pick up a couple of the bands on the other side of the snowflake and then I want to pick this band back up and put it through there as well. Now I can get the other end on. And now you can use a C clip or an S clip, or you could take another band and make a slip knot. So I'm just going to use a C clip here, and I can hook these two bands through. And now I've attached the charm into the center. So I hope everyone had a good time making their snowflake charm. Even though I'm not hoping for actual real snowflakes anytime soon. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook. Post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page. And please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram. So please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching.